Woolly hats, stripy scarves and cosy coats are piled up in our wardrobes, just waiting for icy months to arrive. Because I would have mentioned in warm coats in the winter. But so many children across the world are shivering in the cold. It's not always because the children are unloved. It's often because the cost to buy a coat is more than people can pay. Finding money for food and firewood is hard enough, let alone the extra needed for anything else. But when you're facing freezing temperatures, that's a real problem. That's a lot of cold fingers and toes. We wanted things to change. And we thought... Why not send the children some of our warm winter clothes? So that's what we did. With the help of a few willing schools, a few generous companies and a few kind friends, we began to gather lots of winter woolies. We took our time to go through the donations. Then we sorted them into special winter kits. That meant that we can give each child a scarf, a hat, some gloves, a blanket and, of course, a nice warm winter coat. The kits were piled up on a lorry. Then taken out to orphans and vulnerable children in Serbia, Hungary, Transylvania, Slovakia and Moldova. We even managed to get them to the Syrian refugee children. Children who were living in total poverty. Children that were in this coat. It's very important to make sure these things get to where they are meant to go. So we take lots of care to make sure they don't get lost along the way. We take lots of care to look out for where we can make the biggest difference. And we always look out for people who can help. Up to today, we've done three years of the Keep a Child Warm initiative. And that's a lot of warm fingers and toes. But there is more that we can do. So if you have any spare woolly hats, stripy scarves and cosy coats piled up in your wardrobes... Or if you want to help in any way... Join us to Keep a Child Warm.